Hi everyone, John here from Stronger Runner and Canadian Running. I have the November, December 2021 issue here. And in this video today, I'm gonna to go over my latest workout, hit the hills for running specific strength. So if there's one workout that runners don't really look forward to in their training, it's probably hill training. Hill training incorporates hill repeats or doing a hill inside a loop when you're doing interval training. The idea with hill training is that you're fighting gravity to run up the hill, regardless of the incline, and this forces your body to produce more power and it requires more strength to beat gravity to run up the hill, which is why hill training is the most sport specific workout you can do to help you become a faster and stronger runner. So in this issue of Canadian Running, we decided to go with another non-gym strength workout that you can do. But in this workout, we're also including form drills that focus on different components of your running stride to make you a more efficient runner. So in this workout, we're gonna get you to find about a 20 to 30 second moderately inclined hill. If the hill is too steep, it kind of defeats the purpose. So you wanna have a hill that has sort of a gradual grade. I'd like you to warm up for about five to 20 minutes before this hill workout so that your body is nice and warm and ready for the demands of the workout. And I also caution you to jog carefully down the hill after each exercise or after each hill sprint so that we don't induce too much delayed onset muscle soreness because of that eccentric load that is required for running down hills. At the end of the workout, you definitely wanna cool down with a five to 10 minute jog and then you can do this workout maybe once every 12 days. So now that we know the parameters of the workout, let's actually get to the exercises. The first exercise you're gonna do is an A skip. To start the A skip exercise, start at the bottom of the hill with your feet hip width apart. Bring your right knee up past your hip towards your torso while swinging your left arm forward. As you bring your right knee up towards your shoulder, hop once on your left foot. Alternate this pattern while traveling slowly up the hill. You'll notice that the only point of contact you'll have with the ground is with your forefoot and this is on purpose. You wanna feel light on your feet, but be powerful with the knee drive up. Perform this drill for 30 seconds, turn around, jog carefully back down and get ready for the next exercise. The next exercise is a B skip. Start at the bottom of the hill with your feet hip width apart and you're going to drive your knee up towards your same shoulder again, just like in the A skip. After your knee reaches its full height above your hip, extend your right knee out in front, and then paw at the ground like a cat to snap your leg back down. Your right forefoot should touch the ground just in front of your body, making a snapping noise with the ground. As you alternate sides, you will travel forward, repeat this for 30 seconds, Turn around, jog back down, and get ready for the next exercise. And the next exercise is a C skip. Start at the bottom of the hill with your feet hip width apart. Bring your right knee forward while you bring your right foot towards your butt. You're going to swing your left arm forward as this motion happens, and you're gonna alternate sides, traveling up the hill for 30 seconds. Once you get to the top, turn around, jog back down, and get ready for the next exercise. Exercise four in this workout is a running high knee. Start with your feet hip width apart, bring your right knee above your hip, swing your left arm forward, and immediately switch the legs simultaneously as you travel up the hill. Travel up the hill for 30 seconds, turn around, jog back down, and get ready for the next exercise. The next exercise in this workout is a fancy footwork drill called karaoke. This drill is a little confusing to learn, so make sure you watch the video and pay attention to the cues so that you can understand the timing and the technique of this exercise. So if you're facing left and your right leg is closest to the hill, what you wanna do is bring your left leg with your left knee coming really high across your body towards the hill as you turn your torso towards the left. After you touch down with your left foot, bring your right foot behind, step down, and then turn your torso towards the right. Repeat this sequence, bringing your left foot in front each time for 30 seconds as you travel up the hill. Jog back down and perform the exercise facing the other direction. After you finish this drill, jog back down and get ready for the last exercise in this set. 
So the last exercise in this workout is an actual hill sprint. Start at the bottom of the hill and run as fast as you can for 30 seconds. Feel really strong and feel really light on your feet and swing your arms explosively. You definitely only want to touch the ground with the balls of your toes. You want to drive your knees high and feel like you're trying to travel up the hill as fast as you can. Once you get to the top, turn around, walk back down before you start your next set. So depending on your ability, you can do each set eight to 12 times in a workout. Well guys, that's the workout. If you have any questions about the exercises, please leave them in the comment section below. If this is your first time seeing me, my name is John and I'm a strength and conditioning coach, kinesiologist and regular contributor to Canadian Running. I write workouts for the body work section of Canadian Running to help you become a faster and stronger runner. If this is your first time seeing our YouTube channel, Stronger Runner, I highly suggest you subscribe to keep up to date with all our latest fitness videos. If you want to carry down the rabbit hole of strength and conditioning for running, here is my latest workout here, and here is our strength training for running playlist here. Thanks again for watching today, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.